Welcome to migrating your site with the WP Engine migration plugin video tutorial. In this video, we're going to walk you through migrating your site with minimal effort and no technical skills. In today's example, we're going to migrate wpenginestatus.com to supportstatus.wpengine.com, which will reside on the WP Engine platform. The first thing we will want to do is install the WP Engine automated migration plugin on wpenginestatus.com. We can do this right from the WordPress dashboard. Go to Plugins, Add New, and search using WP Engine Migration. You will see the first choice is WP Engine Automated Migration. Go ahead and install and activate the plugin on your site. In the left hand toolbar, you will see a Site Migration tab. Click that and you will see a form that you will need to fill out in order to migrate your site. You will want to start with your email address. The plugin will use this to communicate the status of your migration to you. The rest of the fields you will copy and paste from the WP Engine user portal. Log into your account and select the install you want to migrate your site to and click the Site Migration link on the left hand side. Here you will see fields that will be copied and pasted into the plugin. Let's start copying over this information. You will notice that you need to generate a password. Go ahead and click the link to see what your unique and secure password is. Once the password is generated, you can copy and paste the password over to the plugin. Note though, that if you leave this page, you will need to regenerate a new password. The new password will also generate a new SFTP username. If either your WP Engine site or your current site is password protected, you will need to provide the username and password to the plugin. To do that, click my site is password protected and fill out the appropriate fields. In our example, we do not need to fill this out. Finally, you will click the migrate button to start the migration. This will redirect you to the blog vault dashboard where you can see a real time update of your migration. You can close out of this page at any time without affecting your migration since the plugin will email you with the progress updates. Depending on the size of your site and the strength of your current server, your migration can take a few hours or be done in as quick as 30 minutes. Either way, go have a drink or take a nap. The plugin is hard at work. At this point, if you've kept the Blah Vault dashboard open, you'll see that the migration has completed. If you closed out of the dashboard, you'll still receive an email of your migration status, including when it has been completed. Let's check supportstatus.wpengine.com, where we migrated our site to, to see if the site migrated over correctly. Looks like the plugin did the trick! For your migration, you'll want to click around and make sure everything is working properly. Once you verify the migration has completed successfully, we will want to do a final migration using the plugin. This will ensure if anything has changed on the original site during the migration, those changes will be brought over. This migration will also ensure that your migrated site will work with your live domain rather than the temporary wpengine.com domain. Before doing anything though, you will want to make sure you have added your live domain to the WP Engine user portal. You can check out our support garage articles below if you need assistance. Once your domain is added, we'll rerun the migration plugin. First, go back to your site's WordPress dashboard, then go to the Site Migration tab as before, and fill out the form one last time. Make sure to use the same email address. The only difference this time is that when you run the migration, you'll want to use your live domain name in the destination URL. The rest of the fields can be copied and pasted like before to the plugin from the user portal. Again, you will need to remember to fill out the password protection fields if applicable to your site. Once everything is filled out, click Migrate to restart the migration. This migration should be much faster than the first time due to us only migrating over the changes from the first migration. Once it has completed, the only thing left to do is change your DNS. Some sites may require additional steps after the migration has completed. To better understand if your site requires this work, we provided a few articles below. Thanks for watching and welcome aboard to WP Engine.